I have that helmet, of course, right? Because cycling in Berlin is really dangerous. But I never wear it, to be honest. And now I realize it's perfect for styling my hair. So it's my style helmet. Hey, I'm Tina, guitar player from Berlin. Today I want to talk about Are You Going With Me from Pep Metheny, the most beautiful tune. The good news, it has only six chords. It's a very good place to practice the Lydian scale. It's a very good place to check out the sus chords a little bit. And then it has this like really very special voice leading going on this rhythmic figure like. First of all, I want to show you those six chords. It's a C minor 7, 9, A flat major 7 sharp 11, B flat sus 4, A half diminished, G7 sus 4, G7. So let's have a quick analysis of those chords. The tune is in C minor, that's the minor parallel of E flat major, right? And I learned to analyze all those songs from the perspective of E flat major, which never occurs. So, but we have C minor, there will be the sixth degree, our minor parallel. Then we have that A flat major seven, the Lydian chord, which of course makes a lot of sense now that it's Lydian since it's on the four, fourth degree. Then we have that A flat major over B. So if you have the Pep Metheny book, you will see that they write down A flat, A flat major over B flat. With B flat in the bass, if you analyze that chord, that's a sus four chord or five chord on the fifth degree. You can play like a B flat seven, but you can also play like a B flat seven sus four chord. Then we have the A half diminished, which is on the raised four degree in E flat major. And maybe some of you know this chord from chess and it's very often an intro starts, for example, with this chord. And then we have just the G7 sus, a secondary dominant, five going to six, right? Because it's leading back to the C minor chord. And then the tune also does modulate. It's a very good place to understand modulation, right? Because after the first solo chorus, it goes up a half step to D flat minor and then it goes to D minor. So when you listen to this recording, listen to the modulation, right? That's a modulation because really like all the chords shift together into a new key. So the intro consists of four bars of C minor and four bars of A flat major. And most importantly, there's a rhythm that goes like one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two. So that's at the core of this tune and it's straight eight. So you can like count one and two and three and four. And if you want to, you could also practice it with an offbeat metronome. the A flat major, you can have the, those same two notes in the shape, which is pretty great. So we can play like this. And if you don't want to play that exact voice leading, you can also just like always alternate the top note between the B and the G string, right? So for example, for the A half diminished, It's a little bit like a bossa nova and yes, so that's a way how you can play it in a dual setting. Get this book, I highly recommend it. Not all of Pep Metheny's tunes are in it, but a lot and it's great transcriptions, very clear music notation. I really love to work with it. So which scales can we play on this tune, right? The first chord is C minor and you can play C Aeolian, but you can also play C Dorian and just experiment a little bit with different sounds, right? Tune 
moves on to the B flat sus4 chord and you can still play the same scale you can use E flat major for a very long time which is pretty cool but if you want to get into the gr gritty nitty into the nitty gritty on the B flat 7 sus4 also be playing A flat major 7 long form arpeggio maybe just changed to the A-flat major sharp 11. That might be a nice exercise. And on the A-half diminished, I really like to use C melodic minor, right? And G7 sus4, going back to the C, like a D minor Apache on the G7 and then maybe maybe turn that dominant seventh chord into an altered chord just like start with mixolydian and then go into the altered mode and then resolve it to the C minor that's cool and then I would like to have a look at one line it's so cool that it's been played around 3 minutes 30 seconds, right? <laughs> playing there is it toots Tielemann? please let me know you know so but anyways it's i don't think it's toots right <laughs> you know that's so much bebop line it's a total bebop line right so he's playing this line over a flat major and it's sort of an enclosure and just right just the plain arpeggio a flat major but then one note further, many horn players play arpeggios that are stacked in thirds, but they don't end with a seven. They just keep on stacking. So maybe think of it as one arpeggio and then chromatically down to the root third. Very nice. That's it for today. Let me know if you liked this video and if I could help you and I'll see you next week. Bye.